Welcome to our first instalment of, of people, people and places of interest of Manchester. Today we're at we're at the Trans Memorial, which is for National Transgender, National Transgender Weekend, which is the T in LGBT. And of course, of course, this is this is the thing of interest because this is something which was which was put together for the loss of all the trans men and trans women within within the world and all around and the fact is the fact is this is something of interest to each and every person out there and each and every trans man and trans lady and of course of course I'm here today with Mr Tony Cooper that that definitely has been a big a big trans trans fighter for for the trans community for for quite a few years also also has been a big part of National Transgender Weekend which takes place in July from the 1st to the 7th of July every year so Mr Tony Cooper so, hello. hello hello so can you tell me about the trans memorial and what and what it means to the trans community yeah it it started a few years ago um that uh, Transgender Day of Remembrance, which is in November, 20th of November, is a worldwide event, which is a day of remembrance for all those trans people that we've lost for, through hate and violence. Um, and we decided that we, we didn't have a, a memorial anywhere in Manchester. Um, and that's where it, it came from, really. So we, we started off quite small and it grew and grew and grew. Um, and we ended up with this. What we then found out was there, hasn't, there wasn't actually a, a memorial anywhere in the country. Um, so then it was renamed and it's now the National Trans Memorial. Right. So, so, and it was, it was vandalised the first time it was put up, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, literally within, within a couple of weeks it was vandalised. Um, and I've got to say the council and the police, and the police, Greater Manchester Police especially, were really, really good. We never found the people that did it, but there was a lot of stuff online and, and we, you know, we got a lot of volunteers in. The police gave us a very small grant to um, help repair some of the stuff on it as well. So the police and council have been very, very supportive supportive and so so can you tell me about it I mean the who who was the original person that came up with the fabulous idea of it being a butterfly well butterflies have always been um, associated with with um, trans people and um, so the butterfly you know the transformation that was always there in the theme um, and then we got a great sculptor to to come and and help us design and carve it, and he carved it over four days. So, what what was the reaction from the trans community when this when this first was? You know, it, it was amazing. I mean, I remember when we was we was trying to get this great big lump of wood into the park, and and you know we put an appeal out for anybody that wants to come and help us, or anybody that wants to come and watch it being carved, and and it was it was tremendous. I mean, it you know dozens and dozens of people over every day over the four or five days it took us to to carve it and get it done um, and it was really good there was one there's one story that i tell quite a lot and it's there's there was um a trans woman that came in to the park and um actually wasn't presenting at the time um and came in and and helped a few times and then on the last day um came presenting as a woman and came with her wife and her mother and turned around and said this is the first time that i've ever come out of the house dressed and i had to do it just to watch this go up um and i'm you know and now that that person volunteers for sparkle you know he's, he's really involved in a lot of of, of trans stuff and it, he's he's living a, a very happy very happy existence now so how many years how many years has national transgender weekend been going now uh so sparkle weekend um that started it, it's the 14th year this year um it started very small started very small um above 
Thompson Arms and it's just grown and grown and grown um, you know and I was very happy to be be a trustee of the charity for for a number of years um, I've stepped down now um, to you know to, to let a new blood into it and to and to keep the event moving forward you know but it is recognized you know now as as the UK's the UK's biggest transgender event and it's also um, known as the world's biggest free to attend transgender event so yeah it's flown and how pop how popular is sparkle become I mean sparkle you know last year was was my last year as, uh, as a trustee and, and we hit um, we hit 13 13 14 thousand visitors um, over the weekend I mean it's like I say it's it's a massive event now you know it's classed as a major event in the city now so what would what would your words be to to anybody out there and um, anybody who's trans from male to female oh, there's there's so many things that you could say I mean firstly you know if you can get involved with sparkle go and go, you know come down and visit sparkle it's it's an amazing weekend you know but there's lots of other events that happen in Manchester as well you know so there's Manchester Minx which is the second Friday of uh, every month um, that you know and that's very very popular you know that's 60, 60 to 80 girls that all meet up and and go for a bit of a pub crawl normally start at on bar on canal street um and just get involved there's lots and lots of stuff out there you know don't feel as though you have to be at home and you know there's lots of people out there that, that will help and talk to you so and um what would your words be to to any trans man or trans lady out there that is that is experiencing forms of transphobia you've got to report it you know you've got to report it um, if you need need some form of advice or help get in touch with the LGBT foundation um, their numbers are all over the internet they, they've got some great resources but if you're experiencing any form of hate crime you've got to report it to the police yeah, this year what are we expecting for this year for uh, National Transgender Weekend you know the the weekend it will be a massive success you know the new trustees are, are, are flying there's lots of new stuff coming out and you know the event will continue to grow and grow and grow you know personally I'll be about I always am and you know I'll be doing lots of stuff at, at my bar but we've you know personally for me it, it was about making sure that there's new blood in there to to get keep the event moving forward and being relevant and that's that's the thing so it'll be a massive success there'll be lots and lots and lots of people here Fabulous. And now, so of course, as you're, this is the Trans Memorial. This is something of definite interest for anybody, anybody out there to to co just come, just come along and pay respects to to the men, women, all around the world. That a, a lot around the world that are being beaten still in different countries. Luckily, here in Britain, we are a liberated Britain, and and people people are excited accepting the trans community now uh, which has been a hard and strong battle for them and also for many people within the LGBT community so just come down here check it out and pay respects and even even put some flowers down here some flowers down here or a candle just to, don't put it too near don't put it too near to the wood though all right it's bringing a candle but you know but definitely definitely make sure that our trans community are respected also, if you see any form of hate crime to anybody within the trans community, yes, do report it. Yes, also, we need to start fighting for, for everyone within Britain, whatever colour, creed or sexuality. Thank you very much.